So, you know, I've come to the realization the past couple of days I actually really fucking miss League of Legends. Like, I know I've stopped playing it pretty much. I haven't played in, like, when was the last time I played? Probably like two or three, three months ago, probably. Somewhere around there. I started playing Fortnite for a bit, and I stopped playing League, and then I stopped playing Fortnite, and I'm doing some other shit now, and just playing some games that I enjoy. I've been playing the shit out of City Skylines on stream if you want to go catch that, but god fucking damn it, dude, do I miss League of Legends. Like, I miss what the game was, and it's really sad when that's the case, because you know you're never going to get it back. And, you know, it, it's not like, uh, it's not like any other thing like that. You know, you could be somebody who's like, oh, you know, I love watching Star Wars when it came out, but these prequels suck. Well, you can always go back and watch the bloody, the bloody sequels and still be like, oh, wow, you know, I can still relive this. But you can't do that with League of Legends, you know, unless they release like a legacy server, which they're never going to fucking do, because if they release like a season five legacy server or a season three legacy server, everyone's going to be fucking playing it and it's going to split the player base. It will never happen. And, and that really fucking sucks, because there's no way you can go back and, and relive that experience, you know. P people, I heard people have tried to, like, release legacy servers, like, independent ones, but of course Riot shuts them down, because, you know, I, that's what they do. They're a company, and they can't let that happen, I suppose. But, you know, I'm, I'm never going to get those days back, you know. I'm never going to get those days in 2015 back, those days in 2013 back. 2014 was sort of eh, but I still played a lot of League, dude. Like, I, if I didn't play League, like, at least one game of League a day back in like 2014 2015 i thought to myself wow i haven't played league like all day today that's pretty weird like tomorrow i'm gonna play like more games to make up for it. and it was never because i was addicted i've i've literally never been addicted to league of legends i've taken breaks before like yeah in 2015 sometime actually i did take like a like a month break or something just sort of like refresh and it was fine like i've never had issues taking breaks from league of legends but I've always wanted to go back, and I'm probably going to go back again. I mean, every time I've said I've quit, I've always gone back. But that's because I'm just like, I really want to play this game. I really, like, enjoyed it. E even if I'm getting, like, a shittier experience nowadays, I still I still enjoy it, but just not as much, you know? And it, it, it's the weirdest thing, because, you know, all the all the massive league detractors, which, yeah, I'm, I'm a league detractor at this point, but there are people who just, like, fucking completely despise the game. They all tell you oh, man, when you give up the game, it's going to be so much better. You're going to be like, feel so, like so much freedom. Your life is going to be so better. I'm just sitting here like, well, it, it wasn't any issue for me to give it up. Like, it would be like giving up fucking ice cream. It's like, okay, well, I'm not addicted to ice cream. I can give it up if I want, but I really want ice cream. <laughs> like, it's just like saying, hey, cut something fun out of your life because, you know, and your life will be so much better. It's like, no. My life hasn't been so much better because I've stopped playing League of Legends. I haven't felt so much more free or anything like that. And, um, you know, it, it feels good in the short term. Like, you know, the first week or two, you're like, yeah, it's so good. But then you get bored. And I'm sitting here thinking, what the fuck do I play? Like, what do I do? I guess I just sit here and watch a podcast for three hours while I do my eBay shit, you know, like, whatever. But it's just like, oh, I get bored so much more now because I can't just be like, oh, well, I'm bored. Let's play a game of League. Like, let's just fuck around in a normal game or some shit. And, like, I miss that, dude. I really miss that. I miss being able to do that. And I, I, it, it wasn't this massive improvement in my life to quit League of Legends. You know, I quit it because I wanted to play Fortnite for a little bit. And I enjoyed Fortnite for, like, a month before realizing, okay, I got into this way too late. Everyone's way too good. And I'm not willing to put in the effort to try and get better. So I gave that up, too. And now I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck do I play? Like, on stream, I'm basically just a variety streamer at this point. Just... Having fun. I've been getting quite a bit of success playing City Skylines. I love City Skylines. I, like, bought it two weeks ago. I haven't played in a few days, actually, since I last streamed. But, um, basically, I've got, like, 50, 60, 70 hours on it or some shit. And I've had it for, like, a few weeks. Um, so, I, and that's just me. Like, I, I love SimCity 2000. I love, like, Zeus Master. I love city building games and shit like that, so... City Skylines was just great for me, especially when you check a few mods in there. It's just amazing. But there's the way, there's still this fucking void in my heart, you know? Just sitting there. And, like, there's a reason for that. League was a part of my life for five fucking years, dude. From 2013 to, like, this year, 2018, League was a part of my life. Like, a big part of my life. And, like, that... I'm 22, man. That's, like, almost a quarter of my fucking life. Like, that's huge. And they just say, nah, I'm not playing this anymore. 
you really, I really do feel like there's a part of myself missing. And, it, you know, it has nothing to do with the fact that I, I built, like, a YouTube channel based around League of Legends. It's like, whatever. At this point, I'm happy doing this vlogging stuff. I'm getting viewers, you know, watching my other stuff. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of viewers for watching me play City Skylines for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm enjoying it a lot. And it's something I always wished I could do. Like, I always wished I could do variety stuff, but then do League of Legends stuff too. But it's just like... <sighs> It's not the same, man. I want to play a league again, but the game is shit. The game is just not good anymore. The direction the game has gone... You know, it's not just, like, one thing that happened. If I, if I had to point out one thing, it would be the Juggernaut patch. But the Juggernaut patch was just the catalyst for a new design and philosophy that completely fucked up the game. And it's just, like, I don't want to, I don't want to play it, but I want to play it, you know? You know, I, I, I can try and do something stupid. I can try and do some sort of gimmicky build or play some weird champion... But at this point, there's there's no, like, black sheep anymore. There's no old ergots. There's no, like, random weird champion that isn't good anymore. There's just champions that are all sort of, and like you know, that you can play them and be unique. Nothing like that exists anymore. I mean, Proxy Singe was that for a long time, but then Singe 420 came around and really popularized it, and then that died. That was a big thing. And, like I said, I, I don't blame him for that. He It's just, you know, Proxy Singe was a victim of circumstance, and... It's a real shame. Like, I love playing it because I felt really unique playing it. I felt like I was doing something completely fucking different that nobody else was doing. And there, there just isn't that... There's, that doesn't exist in the game anymore. It just doesn't. Like, it, it's not there. You know, League of Legends is not like Magic the Gathering, where there's like a billion different fucking things you can do and a trillion unique strategies. And because there's so many variables and so many, like, so much material to work with, you can just... Every now and again, like something will just pop up randomly. It'd be like, you know, Death Shadow in fucking, uh, in, in modern MTG. Like, okay, Death Shadow's been around forever. All the cards that make it up, the list, make up the list have been around forever. Why is it just becoming popular now? Like, what the fuck? Like, the Five Color Humans deck, you know, shit like that. Like, how is all this just becoming popular now? <laughs> I mean, but, you know, Le Le League doesn't have that. There's no, there's no innovation in League. There really isn't anymore. You know, back in, you know, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 even, there was a lot of innovation. Season 4, hell, Season 5, but, you know, after what you get to Season 6, season seven, when the game really got popular, innovation just went away. Like, no, no one's innovating. No one's doing any, any crazy thing. There's no fucking AP crazy Trindamir. There's no proxy singed. There's no fucking AP shaker. You know, there, there's nothing like that anymore. And if there is, it's, yeah, it's fucking quickly nerfed or gotten rid of, and it's like, oh, that was a mistake, like, whatever. And it's just like, well, what's the point of fucking playing anymore if you're just going to use these cookie-cutter shitty builds? And, like, that's it. And there's always going to be, like, one one line of building on a champion that always makes them most effective rather than, you know, being situational. It's just like, ugh. I don't like it anymore. But I want to play it still. But you can, I'm probably going to, I'm probably just going to, like, update it eventually and just, like, give it a go and maybe play a bit on stream even. I just want to try and, you know, relive the past a bit. You know, go back to that old time and just see if I can capture some of that, you know, absolute joy i felt playing the game in like 2013 and 2015 and shit like that uh, and 2014 even yeah i mean my, my first climb to fucking platinum like the 2013 to 2015 was league of legends for me 2016 onwards which is sort of like yeah this game is shit now like this game is not good like why am i playing it i mean like like it, it it's not terrible but it's just not it could be so much more but it's either run by an incompetent team of, you know, members or it's, you know, they're intentionally pushing in a direction in order to make money. And I guess Tencent, them being acquired by Tencent has a lot to do with that. You know, back in 2015, everyone was like, oh, they've been acquired by Tencent. This is bad. Now you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, well. Look how things have changed since 2015. I mean, what can we really say? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's about it. Just want to ramble a bit about that. Um... Midish Cap and I did do like a nine hour long video where we uh, went over every League of Legends champion and did like a, a top, a final top 10 list for all the champions. Uh, he hasn't released it yet. I'll have to get in contact with him, see what's going on with that. But that should, that should be out soon if you want to go sub to his channel and check it out. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching this. Be sure to check out my streams. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. Uh, I'll be playing City Skylines on there for the foreseeable future because I just love that game a lot. Uh, but apart from that, take care guys and I will see you all next time. Good luck in solo queue, I guess, <laughs> if you're still fucking playing that shit.